All right, take a moment. See yourself sitting here. Beautiful evening outside. We could become a tree and we could grow our roots down, down through the floors and through the basements, down to the earth, far beneath where we're sitting. Grow our roots down and down around the rocks, around the boulders down until we can find the bedrock far below. As we search the bedrock, we'll find a cool pool of water, the waters of chaos, waters of potential. We will reach into those waters. And then with each and every breath, we're going to pull those waters slowly up into our bodies. As we breathe, we bring them up into the roots and into our feet. And we breathe more and it comes up further into our legs and into our loins. The next breath brings into our bellies and our chest. As we keep on breathing, we pull up further and further into our heads and out through our heads and through our hands, fountaining back into the earth. You feel these cool waters running throughout your body, filling you with these energies from below. Now, we're going to turn our attention skyward. We're going to grow our branches through the ceilings and through the roofs. Grow our branches high up into the sky through the clouds that are forming until we can find that one pole star directly above our head. I'm going to reach up to that star. We're going to pull down the fires from above, fires of order of potential and bring these fires down through our branches with each and every breath we're going to pull them further and further into our bodies into our heads and into our chests as we breathe they come further down into our bellies and into our loins we breathe further it comes down into our legs and into our feet as we pull this light in from above and the waters from below we can see them mixing in our bodies, filling us with the energies of order and chaos, the powers of potential. Take of this energy, all that you need. Feel yourself being balanced, being centered. Enjoy this energy. Drink of it deeply. But now, let us push the waters back down, push the fires back up. We know that if we ever need these energies ever again, we can always reach down, we can always reach up and pull them into us whenever we need it. But for now, push them out, bring in your roots and branches, take a deep breath in and out in and out and open your eyes prepared for the ritual. Earth Mother, you who surround us, support us, you aid us, you guide us, you give us a place to live, you give us the food, you give us the beautiful nature we have outside for all that you do for us. Earth Mother, we ask that you accept our offerings. We are here to honor the kindred. We are here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you run deep into the earth your roots are in the lands of the ancestors. To you, we give you the silver. They say sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fire, you burn and transform. 
and send all of our offerings high and into the sky, to the realm of the shining ones. We offer you this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells below and the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the shining ones above. We give you water from the well and smoke from the fire. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. And my house and all of our houses, by the might of the waters, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. Mighty gatekeepers, we call to you once more to ask for your aid in opening the ways between the worlds. We call to you to take our messages far and wide, to bring back what we need to hear, and guard us and ward us as we walk your holy roads. For all of this, gatekeepers, all, we ask that you accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers all in my house and in all of our houses, join your magic with ours. Let the wells open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let them be opened in all of our houses. Next, we make offerings to the ancestors. To all of you of our family, you have come long before us. To all of you of our own blood, we offer you welcome. To all of you that we chose, our friends, our mentors, our inspiration, our chosen family, we offer you welcome. And to all of you buried in this very earth, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. To the land spirits, be you fur and feather, scale and skin, or animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be you leaf and twig, stem and flower, or plant kin, we offer you welcome. Be you seen or unseen, the various spirits of the house and the various spirits of the land, we offer you welcome. Come, join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And to the shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our patrons and our matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very land, you are here before us, we offer you welcome. To all of you who watch over us, but are not known to us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shiny ones, accept our offerings. At this point, is there any offerings to be made? Feel free to make them. May calmer heads prevail 
make the escalation happen. There are no further offerings to be made. My kindred, we have given to you, and we have asked for blessings in return. And for that, we give to you one last time. We say, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. And now we ask mighty kindred, what blessings do we receive? Ancestors. Ancestors give us Isa, ice. Stagnation or stability. And the land spirit. Land spirits give us hoggle, hail, major change. And the shiny ones. The shiny ones give us answers, communications. Especially communication with deity. On the face of it, this would not be a positive reading because we're talking stagnation and major change. But I think this is actually more of a warning. Times are going to get difficult, uh, especially in our political climate here in America. Times are going to be very difficult. Maintain that relationship with deity. Well, I may not personally like the blessing. I think it is a, a wise and good omen to give. Do we accept this omen? Okay, with that, my kindred, we have heard the warnings. We ask you fill these waters, fill them with the energy we need to overcome the stagnation of Isa, the major change of Hoggle, to maintain the communications in relationship with deity. Fill our waters with these omens. Behold the waters of life. There are no further things to do. Shining ones. Gods and goddesses in other days, you have evaded us. We are patrons. You have this land, or be you unknown. For all that you do for us, shining ones, we thank you. To the land spirits, you fur and feather in our land kin, you leaf and twig of our plant kin. Or be you the unseen spirits all around us for all that you do for us. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the ancestors, be you of our family, be you of this land, or be you our chosen family for all that you have done for us. 
ancestors, we thank you. And gatekeepers, once more you have aided us, you have guided us, and brought back what we needed to hear. For all that you do for us, gatekeepers, we thank you. And once more I'm going to ask gatekeepers that you join your match with ours in my house and in all of our houses. Let the wells become but water. Let the fires become but flames. Let the tree become but a tree once more. Let the gates be closed. Let them be closed in all of our houses. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us, you aid us, you guide us. Without you, we would not be here. We honor you first, and we thank you last for all that you do for us. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This rite has ended.